Hello and welcome to the studio. It's Finn Jelly here. It's been a while since I've made a video. Um, today I'm going to be doing this watercolour of Lance's Folly, which is a working title for a painting. And I'm just about to show you some earlier paintings, which are oil paintings, um, that I used to work on, which were slightly surreal landscapes, um, usually containing unusual elements that symbolised various different ideas that I was having at the time. Sometimes aircraft, sometimes architectural pieces, uh, fragments of architecture, fragments of archaeology, things that you wouldn't necessarily find in the landscape, but which evoked perhaps a presence of uh, something that had been there before, or evoking a story or something similar, and trying to create atmosphere and story narratives through subtle um, juxtapositions of things in the landscape. Uh, suggestions that maybe a building or a happening had been in that particular landscape but was no longer there but had left some kind of memory or residue and uh, I stopped doing these quite a while ago they're very laborious to do and I started painting more and watercolour um, but I've done a lot of work that is very um, observational and I uh, decided I would just have a an experiment and see whether I still wanted to dabble in this kind of painting. Um, my ideas have changed quite a lot and I'm quite interested in films at the moment and the way films are put together in movies and I watch a lot of films and capture stills sometimes and manipulate them um, for my own use and then piece things together to maybe tell a narrative but I haven't really tackled any of these in watercolour so far and uh, this is the first experiment so as you can see I've laid it out already on the watercolour paper in drawing and I've got this idea of these uh, lancers uh, in uniform in a kind of backlit landscape galloping through the undergrowth and if you've ever seen the film War Horse you re may remember a scene where uh, the cavalry charges through an encampment of German soldiers and massacre these German soldiers as they're kind of waking up from their camp. Um, then the tables are turned and the, the uh, cavalry are all machine gunned by the Germans in turn. Um, anyway, that, that's beside the point, but that scene kind of influenced my thought pattern in a little, in, in some ways. And I, although this painting began with the notion of just backlit, um, cavalry I introduced a washing line on the left which you can't quite see yet but it'll soon be, begin to be painted in and um, there's also a bathtub in the sky suggesting there may have been a building there once when that bathtub was at that level and this is all that remains as a memory of it so it's a bit fantastical there's also a suggestion of wind <clears throat> blowing through some palm trees and in the washing and enhancing the idea and notion of movement. Um, so everything's moving from left, uh, from right to left. Um, the wind suggestions, as you can see, these palm trees taking shape, uh, blasting from right to left in the same way that the horses are galloping. And the soldiers in the background, the lancers in the background, are, are painted in very simply and faintly to suggest that the, the misty backlit scene um, as the sun comes through the tree and the foreground's quite abstract uh, just simple washes of greens with a little bit of red dotted in here and there and uh, I've splashed various little bits of white paint on it and put some salt on to um, create some texture uh, all going towards focusing upon the horseman in the center and then there are a couple of different areas of focus uh, the horseman on the right and the bathtub and the washing the trees they're all in that central band um, but the sky area the trees at the back and the foreground are fairly abstract and here you can see i'm just touching out where there was too much light where i've left the white paper and i'm just softening that edge um, with a very faint wash of gray just to reduce the amount of light and make it a bit sharper. So, so I've done a little bit more to it and here comes the final 
painting with the tape removed. Um, it's an idea I may be developing as I go along. I'm not necessarily sure this is finished yet, but this is as far as this one's going. Second versions may go further. So watch this space, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.